Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, if you hear noise in the background, there there are people over, uh, and I do apologize for that. Um, but obviously, I have another review for you. Uh, we were reviewing the Collector Edition DC Micron Multiverse Alan Scott, and as you can see here, it is the Platinum Edition. Now, I did not plan on getting this. I ordered this off of Amazon, and they uh, 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 I randomly got this um before you be like, you're like well why didn't you return it whatever i was kind of okay with it um but i did modify it a little bit it's not the perfect uh like modification like if you looked at it up close it doesn't look great but it doesn't look horrible um i did my own little self-painting a little bit because uh, although i was actually fine with having like kind of like a unique variant of it um I just, there, there is one particular part of it that I wanted to change. So we'll get to that when we get to the figure though. So here we are in this typical box. And then on the back, you got a picture of Alan Scott. Not this particular version of him. Maybe because of my paint, it actually kind of looks like it. Uh, <laughs> uh, but you got the windows on the side and it says, uh, collectors and Green Lantern, Alan Scott, Days of Vengeance. Now, uh, well, actually, you know what? We'll get into... Uh, so, here he is. Now, I don't know how exactly well this shows up on camera. You can definitely notice where I've painted. Because it probably looks a little lighter compared to the rest. And I do apologize for that. Uh, I try to get the skin color as close as I can. And some of it did get on the hair, but I don't really care, to be honest. Because from far away, it kind of just looks like him. And this is where I mentioned the modifying the face. Now, I won't get into too detail yet because we still need to go into accessories. But, um, right here uh, on his face, and as you can probably still see a little bit on his hair, there was some green. Which unfortunately means that some parts of, it, like, angles to him make him kind of look like the Joker. But, um... And you can see that there's green kind of like over here. It's supposed to look like the rain is supposed to be going. So I'm okay with that. It doesn't look the best, but I'm okay with it. Um, I think it's a cool little feature, and I've grown to like it. Uh, but I did, I did want to change the face. So. So, yeah. But, um. But, uh, yeah, so, um, just wanted to get that out of the way, but, um, so let's look at his accessories. So, the boring accessories. He's got the typical stand, but it's got a shiny DC logo. He's got a card, uh, stand, uh, because it's a collector's edition, and he's got a fancy card, which says, real name Alan Scott. Alan Scott is the first to bear the name Green Lantern, Willie the Green, that focuses on mystical green flame. He's been the first to put on a cape, becoming a founding member of the Just Society of America. As time passed and Alan age, he evolved into a mentor and inspiration to generations of new superheroes. Recharging his ring through his magic lantern, Green Lantern made his emerald glow, glow a sign of hope and source of inspiration for decades. Um, so there, there you go. And then before I get into a little bit of my uh, experience with Alan Scott, uh, he does come with his lantern. I guess, and a little bit of like a effect that you can slide onto his fist here, as if it's like powering up or something. But now I don't have a whole lot of history with Alan Scott. I think I've I don't know how long I've been aware of him, but it's been a little bit. Uh, I don't think I I don't think he's ever did he ever show up in Young Justice? I know Jay Garrick did. Um, I remember him quite well. I'm trying to remember if others did. Oh, Dr. Fate, of course, and Hawkman. Um, but those are like very popular characters. I don't know if I remember seeing Alan Scott when I was younger. But uh, when I really started getting into comics and stuff like that, and I, when I really started getting into, into Green Lantern, obviously I learned of all the different lanterns. Uh, my personal favorite, if you're choosing like ones that are like with the Justice League, it is between uh, John or Hal. But uh, my personal favorite is Kyle Rainier. I really like Kyle Rainier. 
And I kind of have a soft spot for uh, Jessica Cruz. I don't know. I just really like her character. Um, but uh, obviously, she's a later edition. So anybody who's not really up to modern comics, uh, you probably don't know who I'm talking about. But I also would love to learn more about uh, Simone Biaz. I think that's how you pronounce his name, um, which is another Green Lantern. But of course, I've been aware of Hal, uh, you know... Kyle Rainier, John Stewart, Guy Gardner, Kilowog, um, you know, uh, there's some others, I think. Yeah. Alan Scott came a little later, but I did find him pretty cool. Um, you know, I, I think I just, I like the fact that like even though like nowadays the green lanterns are like this huge core that like the original guy to ever have um green lantern as his name uh is this guy in his like classic looking outfit and i've always had a soft spot you know ever since i've kind of been learning about him i've had a soft spot for the JSA, I don't know, there's just something about their characters, even if they're simple or very old-fashioned, um, of course in a good way, uh, that I really enjoy about them, and so I was very much looking forward to them. So, his head sculpt's pretty neat, uh, as I zoom in, you can probably notice more and more of where I painted, uh, but it's pretty neat, um, it looks like Alan Scott. Uh, there's also a version of him where he has a beard, but I think most superheroes do at this point. Um, and you've got the cool looking outfit. Um, we'll use this side since this side doesn't have the glowing green. Um, you know, like you said, he's got the cape and the boots and all that good stuff. I do believe that this green also glows in the dark, which is kind of the gimmick of having this action figure. Um... But yeah, uh, just really uh, love the JSA, and we will be showing those guys off uh, here soon uh, once I get through uh, the articulation. So speaking of the articulation, his head can move that far up, uh, which is kind of sad because he's supposed to fly, but his head can, of course, swivel uh, side to side. It can tilt. It can look down that much and then uh, his arms got the typical like little dumbbell joint in there they can move it that far out biceps full double joint at elbows this the hinge and a swivel at the wrist he's got the joint he's got a joint uh, up here and down here um, and uh, uh, up here and uh, right in this area um, so right where the abs are, and uh, uh, which allows, with combined, allows them to go that far back, that far forward, and they go side to side, and they can swivel independently. Uh, his legs can kick out that far, kick back that far, they can kick out that far. Double jointed knees is, uh, you got a ankle that goes that far down, that far up, swivels, and ankle pivot and of course toe articulation so so yeah sorry if this feels a bit rushed but yeah, that leg joint is tight so let's get into the comparison of his fellow team members and fellow green lanterns shall we so let's compare uh, a fellow green lantern first so uh, here we have him and uh, John Stewart. Uh, here we have, and then we go on to the JSA members. Obviously, there will be some movie here. Um, here, oh, that is just a weird. How did that happen? Okay. Here is next to Adam Smasher. 
cyclone. J. Yerk. Flash. Dr. Fate. Oh, he almost actually stood there. And the only other collector edition figure, and another GSA member, Hawkman. So, of course, I could technically throw him behind Shazam too, but um, I hope they uh, continue coming out with GSA members. I know they have Spectre out there, but he's forty dollars, so I hope they'd like do something else. Um, and then from there, uh, you know, I'm kind of open to whatever. I hope they do Our Man and Liberty Bell and uh, Star Girl, of course. Uh, Mr. Terrific. Um, I think he's JSM member. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> uh, there's, there's plenty of others. Uh, Captain Steel or Commander Steel or something like that. That I think is there and... Yeah, hopefully we get some of those. But anyways, I do hope you enjoyed this review. And if you liked it, uh, well, like the video, subscribe, and share. And I hope you enjoyed it. I know this was kind of a weird one. Uh, probably not the greatest review I've done. But hope you at least enjoyed it. Oh, wait. Before I go, actually, real quick off. I completely forgot. Uh, I have two comics to show off to you guys. Um, and funny enough, one kind of fits really well with the, this, but we'll show off both. I got Chip Zdarsky's Justice League Last Ride. And I got the new uh, volume one of the Justice Society of America. And as you can see, Alan Scott is right there. So, very, very fitting. I did not actually plan on getting this when I got him, by the way. It was just something that I found. And, uh, yeah. So, anyways, hope you did enjoy the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.